Hey guys, it's Des right and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, this is kind of like the rest of my Sephora haul. I just did my Sephora lip haul. And I also got, what are they calling this? Mm. Now, Play by Sephora, the All-Star Edition. So we're going to start off with that. We're going to get that out of the way. I've got a few items I got on the side, plus a crap load of samples. We all love samples because we all like to try stuff before we buy it. If you don't, that's weird. Because who wants to spend 40 or $50 and find out you didn't like it? Yeah, you can return it, but why go through that hassle? So the box looks like this. And inside the box, it looks like that. And there's a kitty cat scratching at my door, as usual. All right, I'm not sure what's in this little card thing here. It says All-Star Editions, Penelope, stop! Or not. But, ooh, I guess this is how you tell what's in your box and all the great little information about it. Please excuse the kitty cat. She's, she wants to be in here. So that's pretty cool. And the bag's kind of neat. Check that out. How awesome is that? And it's plain. There's no logo on it. It feels like one of those like uh, plastic bag type things. It even has a zipper. Oh, never mind. I see it right there. And it just says play. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There, that would be a little bit better. But that's it. That's not bad. All right, we're going to dump all the contents into the Sephora box. And that bag's neat. Smells funny. All right, what do we got? All right, we have... SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. It's seriously magical. Oh my god, Liz. Um, it's an elixir. This treatment moisturizes and supports skin cell renewal. Use twice a day after cleansing. And the card looks like that. And it gives all this information on the back. And it doesn't give prices. I hate when it doesn't give prices because I like to be able to know what the price is. But it's just a little guy, just a little sample. And it looks like it's 10 milliliters. But there it is. That's pretty cool. We'll give it a try. Seems a little dark in here, doesn't it? Many times I keep yelling at myself to get the ring light up. It's in the box. It's right there. I see it. I just don't do it. All right. This is the um, Mora Pacific Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Cream. And it says, like most vital element of life, this prized hydrator moisturizes and protects. Uses Use daily to address first signs of aging. We're way past the first signs. We're like at nine signs. <laughs> like, they're, they're there. <laughs> but the card looks like that. And it comes in a little box like this. It's just a little container. I'm not sure how you open this up. Oh, that's weird in there got a really good perfume smell and when I say really good that's sarcastic it is perfumey and I don't think I can use that on my skin because they just give me migraines and break me out but I'm willing to give it one try was with this light seriously how's that use the mirror the mirror's got lights on it. All right, the next thing we got 
and I've seen this and I've been curious about it. So if anybody else has ever used it, let me know down below. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And it says an invisible layer that makes makeup last and last. This beloved primer sets an oil-free canvas and blurs imperfections. I hope that's true. It's just a little one. Let's see if there's any scent to it. It's got like a matte bottle to it, which that's neat. Oh, the hell is that? It's like a little spatula thing. Oh, well, we'll find out if the makeup stays there on my nose. Nope, no smell. And the next thing we have is a Tom Ford lip color in Indian Rose. And it says a stunning mauve nude and satin finish. This fan favorite is the key to enchantment. It has really little, like, really little. We're back to measuring with a pinky. Oh. I hear this stuff's really expensive. Cool little container. <laughs> Just a little guy. Look how little that is. Like, compared to a thumbnail, it's... It might be about the size of my middle finger. We ain't holding that up though. We'll go ahead and try this out. But first, take a sniff test. Oh, what is with my nose? My nose can't be that big that I'm running everything into it. dying on me. There we go. What do you guys think? It's not bad. Very moisturizing. I, I know the price for this stuff is really expensive so I wouldn't buy it myself. Maybe I can set this up. Over. Oh, oh look at that. that that's go. I'll just enjoy my sample and go on with that. Alright, we also have the Dior Show. It's mascara in black. And it says a record setting bestseller. This mascara uses a big fluffy brush to build volume with every stroke. I don't really want to open this up. What's with this thing? As long as I touch it, it gets brighter. Because I got a lot of sample mascaras and I'm trying to get through some of them. I'm going to be testing them out again and whatever ones I don't really like, I'm getting rid of. But it's just a little one. We don't mind mascaras that's sample size. You can go through those a lot quicker than your bigger ones. Alright, and the last thing that's in the box is Victor and Ralph Flower Balm. It says, an intensely floral scent known for evoking positivity and celebrated crowd pleaser has devoted, has a devoted following. It comes in a package like this. I'm going to rip this open. Who knows? And the first ingredient is alcohol. I don't really care for alcohol to be in my per Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. All right, we will maybe spray. Yay, it's got a sprayer on it. I'm hoping I don't spray myself in the face. It smells like floral leaf perfume. That's running with a hint of musk, which is running down my fingers right now because it didn't stay on that card. But it's not bad. Oh, 
give it a try. As long as I keep it on top of my clothes and not spray a whole lot, I should be all right. Bye box. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to need probably one of these little makeup wipe things. I finally got rid of all the Dollar Tree makeup wipes. You don't know how excited I am on that one. Don't mind me. I'm just going to wipe it off. All right. Because I keep hearing great things and I had a small sample of it. I didn't really care for it on my face, but putting it on my lips and let it sit there while I'm putting on my makeup and then put my lipstick on after it. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yeah, it's the Guerlain Paris. And this one with the little gold flakes, this moisturizes your lips so well. Like, way better than any other, like, lip balm or anything like that. You don't even have to exfoliate. But, most people use this on their face as a makeup base. So it would be like a primer. And I'm so excited about trying it. This is what I get. This is punishment. All right. We also have the Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Long Wear Lipstick Infused with Peach and Sweet Fig Cream. And it's Make Me Blush. The container looks like that, which is super cute. I think the perfume on my finger is giving off a floral scent. Let's wet this light. Good. Yell at me. You just put up the ring light. But it's got little peaches in it. Of course, we're going to lift the light. You see the little peaches in it? Just barely. We'll give this little doodad a little try. It looked like a color that I would wear when I was looking up. So we'll see how it goes. Not bad. All right, this next part will be about, they had two of them. I tried to get both of them, but as soon as I had one in my cart, it disappeared. Like, they were telling me that it already sold out when it was just brought back. So I got the Sephora favorites, give me some nude lip, and we are going to start with that. Like, right now. So, I'll be back in a second. sure what's going on right now, but I've got the bucks on, and Buddy, my lips are burning and I haven't I just tried on what two lip things they're burning so I wonder if this is like a lip plumper I've heard of Buxom but I've never used it never really looked into it this one's called Dolly and it's that color I like it I'm just not sure about the whole burning situation. We'll see what the next one brings us. Angle. This is the Tarte Rum Punch. It's got a cute little container. Nice and blue. It's what's on my lips now. Oh, I'm trying to... Yeah, that's not going to work. The light's right there. Duh. It's not bad. First one's still burning my lips. Thinking it's a lip plumper. Somebody out there is going to be calling me an idiot in a second, but you know, whatever. I can be wrong sometimes. Now we have Bite Beauty and Biorche. 
Won't I stick? It's just little. That color. Actually, I'm not minding it. It's surprising. It's more browner than I would normally go for, but you know, it is what it is. I think I kind of like it. Used anything other than I think it was mascara from Makeup Forever, but that's what this is. And so far, I gotta say, these are pretty nice nudes they have, which I like my nudes. They're not bad. This one's got a little bit more pink kick to it, but it's not that bad. It's still subtle enough, but still flashy enough. You know what I'm saying? It's like in between all that. Very creamy, not sticky. It's a keeper. Sorry for the language that's about to happen. So if you're not big on the language, plug your ears for just a couple seconds. This one pissed me off. It's a Kat Von D Ludwig. And literally, I don't know if I'll be able to show it, but there is a dent where I tried to use my teeth up here. I couldn't get it open. It was like it was super glued and it was freaking me out. So I clamped down on this side. And there's a good chance I broke a tooth. And it's it's washing my lips out. It's drying down, still a little sticky, but so far this is the only one I don't really care for in the box. Alright, I changed my mind. I found another one in the box I didn't like. It's mainly the collar. The texture of it's not bad. It's still a little creamy, but it's drying down. And this is the Ciate London Liquid Velvet in Bittersweet. Just, mm. I think I got a couple other colors like this that I saved away in my drawer for, I don't know what. This is a little too brown for me, but that's fine. And I really love this little kiss box, lipstick box. This is so cute. But that Ciate was the only full size in it. The rest of it was travels, you know, sample sizes, whatever you want to call it. All right, on to samples. I don't want to make this a million years long. They had at one point in time a sample bag. You know, if there's a sample bag, I'm going to get it. Because there's like 90% of the stuff that I end up liking or trying out in them. This is the Biosha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. And it's a cooling gel moisturizer. I probably butchered the name of it, but y'all know what I'm getting at. Oh, this is... Oh, it's face oil. I thought it was something else. Sorry if I'm getting up in your face. I don't mean to, but I'm trying to keep the light on me. Uh, it's called Cora Organics Glow Facial Oil. The packaging looks like that. And there's the oil in there. Of course, it's got one of those pull-off lids. I usually make a mess of them. I'm like a little kid. Uh, we have... Surreal Skin Argon Finishing Balm that's hmm. You delicately press a thin layer into moisturized skin as a skincare finisher and makeup primer. Well that's neat. Yeah, because that just happened. You know what? Yeah, I don't even know what. After this video, I'm putting my ring light up. I do it and re-record all this stuff, but you know, it's getting late. I have 10 hour day shift tomorrow, so i sorry. All right, this one's the Tarte Skincare. It's the 
drink of H2O hydrating boost. I mean, if anybody's tried these samples and they liked it, I've got extremely oily skin, so you know, if you have oily skin, let me know how this stuff worked for you. So I have a heads up. This is Dr. Andrew Well for or Origins. Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Soothing Treatment Lotion. Mushroom? Now we're using mushrooms? Oh, I'm, I don't know about all of this. Um, I haven't been really happy with the Tata, Tata, Tata Harper. I have a serum from her, but I'm going to wait till summer when my skin's going to be a little bit more drier because of the outdoor wood burner. And this is Clarifying Mask Blemish Prone Skin. That might be usable because I've been breaking out like crazy since I've been back to work. We have Royal Beauty Green Seafood Powder. It's mint chocolate chip infusion, which I still have all my like drink mixes and snacks. It's come in a lot of these boxes. And we're gonna deal with hiccups. <sighs> really? Uh, Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Age Prevention Cleanser. Youth to the people. Uh, what's this do? Doesn't say exactly what it does, but it tells you what to do with it. And of course, there's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty, which I'm actually really, really liking First Aid Beauty. Like, it's been working for me. So, I don't know if that's going to work, but I think I have a sample of that. I just haven't tried it yet. It's the Kapari Coconut Milk, the ultimate multitasking moisturizer. It feels really thick like a mud mask. Weird. And it says to melt a dollop in your hand. Dollop's not for moisturizer, it's for sour cream. I've watched the commercial. Uh, we have the Pharmacy Honey Potion. I've been curious about this brand. And I finally get to try it out, maybe, renewing anti-exotic, anti-oxidant hydration mask, slow down, right. That's neat. I get to finally try it and see if I like it. Maybe that one might not work for me, but they might have something else that would. Uh, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I still haven't even used my other bottle of bum bum cream i've heard that it works really really good so i need to actually start using it and that was the samples from the sample bag now i've got samples that come in all my other boxes that i haven't showed you guys this one's a little interesting it's a copria i just had something like this this is a coconut body glow shimmer in all the right places for a pasty person like me, that would turn me into a glittering Casper. It'd be weird. Ooh, uh, this brand's really good. Philosophy, renewed hope in a jar, refreshing and refining moisturizer. I haven't got to try that one out yet. But the time in a bottle or something like that, that sounds awesome. And we've got two of the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. If I don't like one of them, then I'll put the other one in a giveaway because somebody might out there enjoy it. Their skin tone might be different than mine. Um, er, no. What the hell? I don't know. It's, it's, it's white marble translucent cream. What the hell is white marble translucent cream? But we're gonna give it a try. We'll figure it out. We'll look it up and find out how that's all gonna work. Of course, Smashbox. Oh my gosh, I've got a crap load of those. And we have another philosophy. Hope has you covered. This is renewed hope in a jar skin tint. And it is shade beige. 
It's also available in five other colors. I remember picking this out and I just figured beige would be probably the best situation. I am very, very light. As you can see, it's not just a light. It is a white. I like bright white. I'm like lighter than the light bulbs in here. <laughs> uh, we have a cream comfort ultra rich. And I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of this brand, but I think I've tried them before. I'm not sure if I like them or not. I'll look in my little box thing over there of things that I did not like. So I know I don't purchase or try to get any of that stuff. Belief. I've tried a couple of their stuff. And this is the True Cream Aqua Balm Increased Hydration Level. Let's see. Any others? No other seams. This is the Becca Never Experienced Bad Day, Bad Face Day again. It's a first light priming filter, instant complexion refresh, and a back light priming filter, the secret behind the iconic Becca Glow. So that was kind of cool. There's two little pods of it. We also have a Sephora Insta Hydro Gel. Eye mask, the puffing and moisturizing with hyaluronic acid. I think there's only yeah, there's only one mask in there. Oh, I I need to do a mask. It's been a couple days. And it says new fragrances for fall. Like I need that. But we will open this little bag up. Find out what's happening in here. Oh. And the smell is ridiculous. I mean, they there's a Gucci Bloom. There's a Tory Birch. There's my Burberry. Hmm. Mark Jacob Jacobs. Yep, I'm not even going to try it. But it looks like that. It looks like that. You beauty people know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and we have the Miss Dior. Has anybody tried that Marc Jacobs Daisy or the other... I can't remember what it's called, but it's another Daisy one. I love daisies, and this smells like daisies. I might wear it, but I can't seem to get a, my hands on a sample of it. And the last thing that in the whole samples and last thing I have which I'm this video has been kind of long and I'm sorry um is the Tom Ford Orchid something that's right right over top of the card hmm gonna tell me what the notes are I smell floral and I smell a few other things, but I can't, can't place it. All right, that is all I have for this. Um, I will do another lipstick declutter tonight and I will post all this stuff tomorrow. This way I'm not bombarding you guys. I'm trying to post, you know, upload stuff the night before. So if I'm busy the next day, guess what? I can go ahead and upload it and it's out there. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the Sephora box that I just had. Um, has anybody else tried this nude lip stuff? I want to get the other one because it looked pretty good too. I mean, out of six lipsticks, I liked four. I mean, yeah, there were sample sizes, but it was nice to be able to try them. And I will see you guys in a little bit.